with three Breeders' Crown, Eternal Camnation, and Cam Swifty. Molly can do it with Worldly Beauty in the middle, Bunny Lake on the outside with Always Cam. It's post time for Woodbine 7th. The seventh from Woodbine, 2003 Breeders Crown Final, Mare's Pace. And they're off, and it's Eternal Camnation on the inside, Bunny Lake and Worldly Beauty. Which of these three, Bunny Lake, is fastest off the switch? And Worldly Beauty gets out in second, Eternal Camnation. The third one away in that first eighth of the mile, which could prove to be all important. Cam Swifty, then Molly can do it, and always Cam, sixth and last away. Bunny Lake with an explosive move, but here comes Eternal Camnation, not going to allow John Campbell to back it off. Eternal Camnation comes to call early on Bunny Lake. The opening quarter was 26 and 2. Eternal Camnation trying to circle third to first. And Eric Ledford moves her to the lead. Bunny Lake came back on a few steps, but now Eternal Camnation takes over. Eternal Camnation takes over from Bunny Lake, and Worldly Beauty is now relegated to third. Cam Swifty fourth. Then Molly can do it, and always Cam are lined up. Eternal Camnation has the bravado and the fortitude to go up and take over but it's a pretty testy half of 54 and 1 but Eternal Cam Nation is the leader on Bunny Lake 3 eighths of the mile to go and a compelling field of mares go at it onto the final turn in the 2003 Breeders Crown Mares Pace rolling up on the outside is Molly Can Do It she's at the flank of Worldly Beauty then Cam Swifty and always Cam on the outside they moved ahead stretch Eternal Cam Nation Bunny Lake is already looking back to the outside. Worldly Beauty right there, third. 123 and 4. 29 and 3. A moderate third. Bunny Lake back out for the stretch. And John Campbell has her retaking the lead. Eternal Cam Nation sprinting with all she's got. Always Cam blocked off at the inside. Eternal Cam Nation. Bunny Lake. Worldly Beauty. What a champion. A three time Breeders' Crown winner. Eternal Cam Nation is a battling back winner to go down in history in a very elite group a three-time crown champion for the world's richest female pacer of all time and it doesn't get much better